Hi, I'm John Barber, Editor-in-Chief at IDW Publishing, and welcome to Barber Shop. A few weeks ago, one of the greatest sagas on television came to an end. I'm talking, of course, about Star Wars The Clone Wars. I've been a Star Wars fan for as long as I've been able to think. I grew up with the original trilogy, but I never stopped watching. In case you did, Clone Wars is an animated series following Anakin, Obi-Wan, and their Jedi Padawan Ahsoka, along with a host of clone troopers, in battles throughout that far, far away galaxy. The series debuted in 2008 and ran until 2014, and it seemed like that was the end. Until the series returned this past February, right before COVID really kicked up here in the US. I bring that up because I think something a little unusual happened. When you're my age, I guess the five or six years between episodes doesn't feel that long, but there are plenty of people out there who were kids when the series started, and adults as that last season aired. And I have to think it was like a miracle having a childhood favorite come back just when you're stuck at home. Anyway, Clone Wars on TV has been a real relief to a whole lot of people, and I mean the show is fantastic. So here at IDW, we and Lucasfilm cooked up a plan to do a five-issue weekly series in April, coinciding with the show. We were, gonna, we were calling it Star Wars The Clone Wars Battle Tales. And everybody worked very, extremely hard to get everything done and get it done at the quality Clone Wars deserves and demands. And then, like I said, COVID hit. So instead of coming out weekly during the TV show, our comic series is now coming out monthly after the TV show. Issue 1 just hit the stands last Wednesday, so it's there right now at your local comic shop or a digital platform. So here's the deal with the series. Commander Rex, I'm sorry, Captain Rex, apologies Captain, uh, but Commander Wolf and Commander Cody, uh, plus all their squad mates, are backing up Anakin and Obi-Wan as they try to stop Count Dooku from forcing a planet to join the Separatists. Now, along the way, the clone troopers share stories about past adventures. We see old friends like Padme and old enemies like the Trade Federation. And these stories all stand on their own. But then they build together to show you what life's like for the clones and how they relate these past missions to the present one. It's like all the clone trooper fun of the TV show condensed and wrapped into five issues. My friend Michael Morisi is writing the whole thing. Well, has written. Uh, like I said, these were all going to be out last month. Uh, Derek Charm, who I've had the pleasure of collaborating with on Star Wars comics myself, is doing his amazing art on the present day story, with Luis Antonio Delgado coloring and J.K. Wood lettering the whole thing. Then, each of the stories set in the past has a different artist to fit the different feel of the story. Ariana Florian and uh, Mario Del Panino are on issue one. Then we've got Megan Levins, who I worked with on Back to the Future, she's great. Uh, Valentino Pinto, uh, Davidi Tento, and then uh, Philip Murphy, who is one of my collaborators on, uh, on uh, Star Trek Transformers. Uh, he's wonderful. It's an amazing uh, murderer's row of great Star Wars artists. So check out our web store or your local comic shop and grab a copy for yourself. And keep your eyes peeled for the next four issues over the next four months. Now, as always, let's use this time to connect and keep the IDW community active. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll answer what I can. That's all for this week. Remember, you can keep up with IDW on social media and check back here every week for news and updates. Thanks for watching.